find a better job offer, what would I miss about LSE? Um, I'd have to say the Peacock Theatre. Being on that stage, poncing around as I do, uh, you know, going through my proofs of, you know, and moment generating functions and all this sort of stuff, and to have that audience to perform to them. And I, I do treat the lectures as really a, a performance. It's just, just a great thing. So uh, Peacock Theatre for me, it's uh, um, one of my you know, favorite places on campus. So if when I ever left LSE, goodness me, I think that would be uh, a place I would uh, sorely miss. Statistics is uh, one of the most useful disciplines you can be familiar with and say you're only limited by your imagination to the sorts of applications uh, you, you can uh, apply it to. I was doing some research on a field called forensic statistics, so the interplay of stats and the law. So imagine hypothetically uh, someone is uh, arrested on suspicion of murder, okay, and they go to, go to trial. Clearly, we're trying to determine, did this person commit the crime or not? Uh, obviously, you have the prosecution and the defense arguing the, the different points of view. But increasingly, now, there's the role of statistics uh, to play a sort of probabilistic role in the decision making. So if you think about uh, the laymen and women on, on the jury, who perhaps are not statistical experts, if you can get uh, an expert witness come in and actually say, you know, probabilistically, how likely this person was or was not to have committed the crime, and uh, to try and quantify these things, it can perhaps help make the jury decision making far easier. Inevitably, uh, there are, you know, history is littered with various miscarriages of justice where perhaps the statistical um, evidence presented wasn't perhaps correct or wrong assumptions were made. So this is why it's important that um, there's uh, uh, you know, good uh, expert witnesses are, are provided to, to, to trials. There's a lot of um, uh, issues we can and problems we can solve through proper data analysis. If we think about LSE and its motto, if my Latin pronunciation is right, is it rerum uh, causas cognoscere or cognoscere causas, to understand the causes of things. Well, uh, by harnessing the power of analytics and data, I think we increasingly can try and understand the causes of things, be it in a social science, science, or any other sort of setting. I was called upon to do uh, a radio interview um, out in Singapore uh, a few months ago, looking at the use of uh, statistics in the world of uh, online dating. So uh, apparently in several Asian countries, these sort of dating apps are uh, very uh, trendy, particularly for sort of young professionals who are perhaps time poor, and they basically, uh, during their coffee break, will sort of uh, you know, browse through various profiles, and if two people sort of click a, a match with each other, they're then sort of put in touch. So um, it was a sort of bizarre application, really, of statistics and sort of this idea of playing sort of quant cupid and trying to use stats to, for, for people to, to, to find love. So I'm always interested in sort of perhaps somewhat um, uh, alternative uses and applications of statistics. So you have the sort of the, the finance and the economics, but sort of you know, beyond that. And to think that you could perhaps you know, build an algorithm to try and find uh, someone that their perfect match, I just find quite a, um, a sort of cute way perhaps of uh, applying stats.